Hey, and welcome to another video on quick tips you can do with email marketing. Today, we are gonna cover how to turn a video into a GIF and then add that to an email. Let's get started. It comes down to really four steps. So first, we've gotta get a video. So whether, you, I would imagine that you would either wanna film one or that you have one on hand of a product. Then we're gonna trim it down. I'll show you how I do that. Then upload it to a uh, video to GIF converter and then optimize it for file size. You're gonna hear me talk a lot about file size here in a second, and that's because we don't want the GIF file to be so big that when it gets sent, it doesn't load quickly. So people only look at your messages for a matter of moments, so like literally seconds. So if the GIF takes like 30 seconds to load, that's not gonna work. So we need it to be a nice, small-ish file size. And I talk to our graphic designers and we think, you know, max five megabytes would probably be a safe place. You could maybe test and get away with a little bit more, but just remember that someone's internet connection is, might be slower. So you wanna be kind of in a safe place and just stick maybe like around under, I would say under five megabytes. But let me show you uh, what, what this process could look like for you. So all I did was go into Canva and I picked out a fun video of a lady spinning around in a dress. So let's just pretend I sell this white dress and I wanna show you how you could spin around in the pretty white dress. And then I shortened the video on down to just a few seconds, 3.8 seconds. I used this slider rule just to shorten it down to a nice place where I wanted it. And then I downloaded it as an MP4. Now, if you are not um, using Canva, you could also do this in QuickTime. All you need to do is load up your video and go to edit trim, and then you can also trim it down to a few seconds. Then once you have that few seconds, what we're going to do is upload it into Easy GIF. This is just a free online site where you can upload and convert your GIFs. I've used it a bunch, it's really, really easy. You're just going, gonna wanna go to video to GIF and then upload your video. And you'll notice when you first upload it um, that you've got a couple of settings here go to the end of the video and then for for right now i'm just going to start off to see how big this gif is going to be so i actually kept it at the original up to 600 pixels and i put the frame rate at 10 so those are the defaults and then i went ahead and created the gif once i did that i looked at the file size and noticed that it was 7.9 megabytes ah, that's a little bit big so i went ahead and moved over to just at the bottom, you can say optimize. And I went over to the GIF optimizer. And so here, what I did was uh, move to the compression level. I moved it to 81. There's nothing magical there. I just was thinking around a little bit less than half um, because 7.9, like I'm pretty close, but just not quite there. Then I hit optimize GIF and the optimized GIF is here and ready to go. It's four megabytes now, that's perfect. So then I hit save and download it to my computer. Then, following me, then um, I went over and found a section in my email, an, an image section, and I uh, went ahead and put in the image from my desktop. And now you can see that it is in my email. And so I could put some other headline text in here and a call to action. You know, that's all, you can talk about that all day long. But ultimately, I just wanted to put this really pretty video that is now a GIF, um, but it really shows the great texture of the dress and somebody using it. So that is a quick walkthrough of how you can make a video into a GIF and then pop it into your email. Well, I hope you like this video and please like, subscribe, comment below on what else you would like to see from our quick tips series. We've got plenty of other videos on our YouTube channel. And of course, if you head to our site, you can go to learning and we've got courses there for you to take a look at all about email design, how to grow your list and what to send and when to send it. We're growing this all the time. So check back regularly and we'll have new stuff for you. Thanks a lot.